everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Paula thanks so much for joining me today today's video guys I'll be doing a DIY and I'll be updating my small kitchen I've decided to work on my kitchen cupboards as you can see the hardware on my kitchen cupboards are quite plain rather than going out and spending lots of money and buying new ones I decided that I would update the ones that I have so the hardware is actually plastic handles guys so they're quite inexpensive so what I've decided to do with these, create this very easy DIY. I was at my local dollar store and I noticed these really cute mini mirror tiles. They're self-adhesive and I thought this would add a little sparkle to my kitchen. And they're very easy to work with, guys. So I simply just measured to the width that I needed, used my scissors to cut to the length, peeled the backing because they're self-adhesive off of the back, but the self-adhesive isn't strong enough to stick to the hardware and stay. So I used my glue gun and applied a little bit of glue and then simply wrapped this around the base of the hardware and then just simply slowly twist this around the base and then peel off the remaining part that you don't need because it's very easy to work with guys. Then just press everything down and make sure that everything is secure. But then as I was looking at the top of it, I thought it still looked kind of plain. So I decided to add more mirror tiles, this time to the top part of the handle. So I just use my glue gun again guys and just gently press this down just to make sure that it's sticking really well. I couldn't get a strip that was long enough that fully wrapped around but don't be concerned guys because they match up really well and you can't see if there's any seams. Once you've applied this just go around the whole base of it again and just simply press everything down just to make sure that everything is really secure. Now you could just leave it like that, but I decided to use one of my gems that I purchased from the dollar store. And I simply applied a little dollop of glue, place the gem on the top there, make sure that you center it. And then that's it guys. The glue can create some cobwebs, so you just peel those away guys. But I'm just going to finish up now. I have about 10 more handles to complete. So I'm just going to quickly do those guys. And then show you the finished product. And then I'll move on to my next DIY. So this is what they look like when I've put them back onto my cabinets. I'm really happy guys with how they turned out. They've added so much glam to my kitchen. So now that I've completed this part of the DIY guys, I'm now going to move on to my kitchen countertops. So I'm going to be applying some inexpensive contact paper. I chose this marble contact paper that I purchased from Walmart. It's a very easy product to work with, guys. You just simply lay it out, measure to the length that you need, flip it over because it has a grid on the back, simply cut to the length that you need, peel away the backing, and then apply it to your surface. Be very careful when you're lining this up and do it very slowly because it's really sticky, guys. 
Once you've got it lined up, just again, just slowly pull the backing away while smoothing the top, trying to release any air bubbles that you get. And then you're left with such a beautiful looking product. Continue this process until your entire countertop is completed. To get a professional finish around your kitchen sink, apply the contact paper over the sink. Use your X-Acto knife and score the paper and simply pull it away. So I'm now going to quickly clean things up, guys. I'm just going to scrub my kitchen sink down with Vim. Once I've completed that, I'm going to be using Method. The scent I'm using today is lavender, and I will be using this with a microfiber cloth. If you're interested in these products, I will have a link for you below in my description box. So this is what the hardware looks like guys now that I've attached them to my kitchen cabinets. It's added some glam to my kitchen, an easy way of updating my small kitchen. I'm also pleased with the contact paper and how that turned out for my countertops. If you're new to my channel friends, I do DIYs as well as cleaning videos. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my family. I look forward to your comments below. And I hope to see you guys again very soon. Thanks again for watching, guys. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.